What's going on guys, Real Thoughts Gmail here back with another Java tutorial and today I am going to be showing you guys how to get this choppy movement out of the way because you don't want this movement even if you didn't want to continue with this series you want to know how to make some better movement than this and if you haven't done this code you may not see it but it takes like you, you press the key down and it takes a second for it to actually go so we want to change that so it's nice and smooth and right off the bat right when you press it it's just gonna go so what we're gonna do here in order to do this we're gonna set up two variables private double velocity x we're gonna equal to zero private double velocity y and that's gonna equal to zero and in our tick method here we're gonna say x plus equals velocity x and y plus equals velocity y so now whenever we change these values it's going to change the x position. So x plus equals velocity x is just like saying x equals x plus velocity x. That will do the same thing. So it's just taking its x value and adding it by whatever we have here. So now all we have to do is change that velocity x and velocity y variable. And for that we're going to be using getters and setters. So, or actually just setters. So public void set velocity x double velocity x and I say VEL stands for velocity you can do whatever you'd like this dot velocity x equals velocity x and then just I'm just gonna copy and paste for velocity y so velocity y velocity y and velocity y and if you don't know what this is go ahead and check out my last tutorial and I explain what getters and setters do these are just setters though Okay, so once you've gotten that, what you're going to do is you're going to go into the game class here, and in our keyboard input, instead of saying p.setx, we're going to say p.set velocity x, and we can say 5. Then we copy this, paste it, paste it, paste it, and then for left, we can say negative 5. For down, we'll say velocity y, and for up, we'll say negative 5. Now you do need a key release function here, so just copy all this and put zero. Because when we release it, we want to set that velocity x and velocity y back to zero. So now if we play the game, as you can see, it's nice and smooth movement now. Because we're not actually it doesn't take it doesn't have to account for what its x position is, it's just plus equaling it all the time. So there you go. And a little thing that we got last tutorial was that in our we, we'd have to click on the screen to actually get the keyboard input to start working so in our init method all I'm going to say is request focus and that's going to bring focus to the screen right off the bat so now we don't have to press the um, the screen there so go and like go and subscribe if you like my tutorials and I will be sure to continue on now what do you want to see next tutorial we've got all of these basic functions going right we've got keyboard input do you want a start you want to start with the background do you want to start with basic enemies do you want to start with shooting what do you want to do with this game alright so I will see you guys next tutorial peace